Good evening. The Lake Charles Charter Schools haven't had school buses for two years. Now the wait is over. KPLC's Olivia Vidal is in the studio tonight with more on what parents and students can expect this fall. Cynthia, charter school students will have triple the number of buses this upcoming school year, making it easier to get to class on time and easier for parents. In two years, Lake Charles gained two charter schools, and it's two years the schools have had limited mass transportation. It was a very long process. We've been working on that since day one. Pat Kelsey is a charter school board member. This fall, both schools will have school buses. We put um, proposals out for bids, and we had two bids that we were um, strongly considering. And of those two bids, we chose one from Texas, McKinney, Texas. That company, Student Transportation Specialists, will now provide 12 air-conditioned school buses, something that will cost both charter school boards a little over $300,000. But Lake Charles Charter Foundation Chairman Gene Thibodeau says that money is part of the services already accounted for in the budget. These are the monies that are allocated to us from the state uh, Board of Education. The $9,200 for each student enrolled. We are using that money as part of the services that are being provided. So we don't have any additional grants, nor are we asking the parents or the taxpayers for any additional monies. An obvious necessity for both schools. We look forward to a long, fruitful relationship with, uh, with STS. Um, and also with uh, our management partner, uh, Charter Schools USA. I think it's a great step forward for our students and their parents. I think it will make, make it much easier. Easier, especially for those parents who bring students from outside the Lake Charles City limits. Buses will also pick up students in areas such as Clo, Bell City, Sulphur, Iowa, and LeBlue. At your service tonight, Olivia Vidal, KPLC 7 News.